Hello guys. Welcome to another Roblox story time. Before we start, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more stories. Our story for today is about the hare and the tortoise. There once was a speedy hare who bragged about how fast he could run. I'm the fastest animal around. Tired of hearing him boast, the tortoise challenged him to a race. Don't you have anything to do with your life? Why don't we have a race so that you can stop bragging? Okie dokie. But the loser gets to do what the winner wants. I just want you to stop being noisy all the time. All the animals in the forest gathered to watch. Hey! Have you heard? The hare and the tortoise are going to have a match. So exciting! Like watching paint dry. Come on and let's have a laugh and watch. Ladies and gentle beasts. The race is about to start. Ready, steady, go. And the race was on. The hare ran down the road for a while and then paused to rest. He looked back at the tortoise and cried out. How do you expect to win this race when you are walking along at your slow, slow pace? The hare stretched himself out alongside the road and fell asleep, thinking. There is plenty of time to relax. The tortoise walked and walked, never ever stopping until he came to the finish line. I will never stop. This is my ninja way. The animals who were watching cheered so loudly for Tortoise that they woke up the hare. Go Tortoise! You can do it! The hare stretched, yawned and began to run again, but it was too late. I can't believe this is happening to me. I am faster, stronger and fluffier. Tortoise had already crossed the finish line. Yay I won. My wish is for you to be quiet and never brag again, hare. Moral of the story Slow and steady wins the race. This is the story that we have all grown up with. But recently, two additions have been proposed to the story. Addition 1. After being defeated by the tortoise, the hare did some soul searching. In order for me to win, I need to find my strength and bank on it. He knew that though he had tried hard in the beginning, he was not consistent, and had grown overconfident. The next time, I will take a nap after I cross the finish line. He was determined to undo his mistakes, and invited Tortoise for another race. I have kept my promise and never bragged again. I would like to challenge you again for another race Tortoise. I'm not sure. But I know that you have learned your lesson. Alright. Let's race again. This time, the rabbit was careful not to take a nap and had run the whole distance, and of course, emerged as the winner. Hooray. I am the winner. My hard work paid off. Moral. Fast and consistent may be better than slow and steady. Addition 2. Well, after emerging the loser in the second race, the tortoise thought long and hard. How can I win the next race? The hare is clearly faster. I should think of a better way. He knew that in any traditional terrain, the hare would win if he was fast and consistent. Therefore, he thought of a non-traditional terrain for the race. Aha! I got it. I can win this next race. He he he. Then he invited the rabbit for another race. At our current score, we are tied. We should have a tiebreaker. This time the rabbit laughed out loud, thinking that the tortoise was out of his head. Ha ha ha. Did you hit your head on your shell? There is no way that you can beat me. Not in a million years. But the tortoise insisted that there should be another race and the terrain would be decided by the tortoise. If you are so confident, then let me pick the location of our next race. Or are you a chicken hare? Chickens have no hair, they have feathers. But whatever. I'll beat you anytime, anywhere. Just name it. The rabbit agreed to the idea. The race began. The rabbit was leading in front, with the tortoise far back trundling along. I'm so bored. I feel sleepy. Why don't I take a nap? Nah. I will not lose this race over a nap. Around halfway through the race, they came across a river. The rabbit halted on the bank of the river, wondering how to cross the river. Oh man. At times like these, I wish I was a fish so that I can swim easily. Meanwhile, the tortoise approached the river slowly, got into the water, and swam across. Oh I thought you were sleeping again. Want to ride on my shell? Of course not. Good luck swimming. The hare got furious. He saw that there was a bridge on the farthest side of the road. He hurriedly ran towards it. I am not losing this race. I am the fastest animal in this kingdom. But alas, as soon as the hare got to the bridge, he saw the tortoise climb up on the other bank, ran the last few kilometers, and won the race. I did it. I won. 
my plan worked. Moral of the story, when your capabilities are below par, choose a playing ground that gives you a natural advantage. Hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like and comment for more videos.